Good. Okay. So you, can I also control the music? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you can see there's a volume underneath that took me a while to figure out, but my most of my building is underground. Okay. And you can see there's like a void. Yeah. Ah, okay, let's, let's do that quickly. You want to put your building underground? Yeah. Okay, so, very quick. But I also need to open up that. No, no. So, actually, technically, you, we're going to open up everything. Okay. You can open up this void, but technically, we're going to open up everything because we'll model a floor over it. So, technically, we'll make another grass. It's like a grass slab that will sit over it. Okay. So, it's quite, it's weird how it works, but it's, yeah, you'll see now. But it's not supposed to cover this ground floor. If that makes sense. Is this underground? Oh, it is underground. Uh, so that is underground. That so half of my building is underground. Okay. The rest is above ground. Okay. And then this ground floor that is a slab that needs to be lifted. Okay. So okay. It's just that hole that needs to like open. All right. No, this is very straightforward. Very straightforward. Okay. So we're gonna go to um. Let me just go to your levels first, because I need to go to a floor plan. I haven't named all of them properly. No, that's fine. Ones, no, that's fine. The minus ones is the base. No, no. As long as I've got a section to work with, I just want to see how far we're going down. Okay, so this is our lowest point. While we're here, how do you extend these ah. lines? Because not all of them go straight. Yeah, to fix. Okay, I'll fix this. So let's first put in a pad. And then we're gonna build in your. Um, we'll build in that control. Okay. So if you go to ground floor, uh, let's go to minus six. Four. We're gonna go to. We're gonna build a pad. Just say what's it saying? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna build a building pad, and I'm gonna use the tab key. I'm just quickly tabbing until I select all the lines. Okay. Now I'm going to say, now it's a pad that is, usually these are layers of 150 mil, 150, the, it's usually filled, it's layers of fill that this will sit on, of 150 mil. So they pack, it's this, they come off site and it's filled and they pack it in layers of 150 mil. Then they compact it and they put another level, compact it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's usually sits and fill. They'll dig away the earth, then they'll put fill, and they'll make it perfectly level before they cast the slab. Do we need to show that? Yeah. Yeah. We have to show it. Anyway. Press OK. Now, that will sit beneath your slab. So that will be 255. Finish. Now, three of you. We're going to have a nice big hole. It took me a while to figure out that void is also a space. <laughs> yep. yep. Um, so now... Now we're going to put a concrete slab, because you need a concrete slab here. Yeah. Okay, so technically you need a concrete slab. I don't know, it might go into the building. Let's see. So that's... that's Okay, let's fix your levels up. Let me sort this out. I can see straight away what's going on. Yeah, it's weird. So these levels are... There's some that are in the right place, some they've gone all over the show. Okay, yeah. so let's fix that out very quickly. It's because like I added them in different times. No, that's cool. That's very easy to fix. Okay, architecture. You're going to go to, um, so in view, you go and find this a scope box. Scope box and you draw a scope box. Like that. Scope box controls, it'll control your grids and it'll control your um, levels. So pull it up and then pull this down right underground. We will work up Okay, so let's just go to VG. I'm going to switch off your topography for the time being. Topography. Just so that I can just see. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, yeah. Now, this guy, you're going to select the levels. Select one. Right click, select all instances of project. Now, you're going to tell this guy. Guess what in here? Scope box? Yeah. Work with scope box. Voila. They will all adjust now. Okay, perfect. Now they're working. Now if you go to ground floor, watch this. We can even make your grids now. Fix these. Right click, select all instances and project. Guess what? Work with scope box. Now you use the scope box until it's neat. Get this so that everything is in the right 
you can delete the scope box when you don't need it anymore and then it will leave everything in place so if that's fixed you can just say delete because it's done its job it's neat it's got all this in the correct so it doesn't matter in what section or elevation you go to looking at this building you're going to see your levels you'll see your sections but what if we in the sections and levels need to show context then we need to expand that scope box no this is it no if you go like this but if we need to add context yeah you can you probably won't for design you will add a lot of context for construction very little so for construction they did ask for the general arrangement ones to show context context okay you're just showing your adjacent buildings but that's fine so yeah. if you go to you know these things it's just because you had that autocad file in which was high up there so the quickest way to fix it what's this edit edit boundary get rid of all of that delete now you cut a rectangle and so now this is just the context you want to show watch this it'll crop everything now so yeah this is going underground is that double line now the compact of the ground yeah you see this is your this is your um okay wait a minute what is it that's minus 150 my bad minus 255 now this is 150 mil then you put your slab above here so let's go to here now i'm going to go to architecture floor uh concrete floor slab again because i've got that line work there my pleasure good luck select that voila now if i go to the section now i just made a floor slab oh, okay. and remember we always use fine detail okay, okay. oh yeah oh that's beautiful now there's your concrete slab voila and now i have to do that with each other. no 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 watch this Control c i'm gonna put this on all of those quickly to ground floor watch this and will it take into account the void yeah i'm gonna sort that out now very easy so you're gonna say copy paste align to selected levels so i'm gonna say Basement, basement, ground floor. Um, why do you say all of them? Because oh, these yeah, are named like level five and six. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll name them correctly tonight. Okay, so it's ground floor, level three, basement three. Okay, okay. In this instance, watch. I'll just um, copy it this way. And also, just for the when I built the massing for this building, I built it in two different stages: the above ground and no, that's the fine. below. That's, that's fine. That's not going to influence. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, I've just copied this, but they might be hosted off the wrong. That's also it see it's automatically found the correct level. So I'll just copy these up. Okay, now if I go outside. So here I've got so let's switch off your masses for the time. Massing. If you switch off here and you go show your massing will hide. You know what happened, Jason? It didn't disappear. So when I saved it and I opened it up, it was all gone. The massing, I know. It's and this I almost view. cried. It's this is here. But then I remember your extra saving thing and i did all of it i went on to google i went to previous versions i opened it up and was still not there and i almost cried and then i realized i should just like yeah and then it's like, what's what, what's actually going on if you go like this what's actually going on the best way to remember this if you go to vg now so if you go to view visibility graphics now if you go to um it's over here massing masses all that's happening is sorry here this is always off by default if I switch it on now, this is the best way to manage it, to be honest. Is you always actually always want them on for the time being. Until you've built your buildings, you want them back on. Oh, so the massing isn't like an actual thing you're building. It's just like, it's, it's like contour lines. So you No, it's, it's, it. it's a skeleton in which you can build your building around. And you hide it. But what we do is, so what we do is we go VG. So let me explain this. We go to VG. Uh, we bring it back on. So we go to M for massing. Switch it back on. Okay, now what we do is we hide. So if I select this guy, you can hide these things. So right click, hide and view. If you don't want to see them, you hide elements, you hide elements. And then how do you bring them back? You just um, click on those glasses and then you click on the red. So let me show you how, how this works. So you want these, you okay. keep these masses in view. You keep yeah. all these masses. So watch, I grab this one. Watch this. Hide and view. Element. You can hide all these massing floors. You can actually delete those if you don't need them anymore. This is just giving you area. This is giving you total floor area, total floor area, what volume. Is, 
So it's something that you don't really need. So anymore. it's not actual no, floors. No, no, you can put your floors. Actually, you you can. I'll explain what these are actually for. Okay. See so here, you can go I to. I thought it was my floors. No, watch this now. If you go to floor by face. Yeah. Watch this 3D floors now. Watch this. Pick this guy. This guy. What this does is it'll actually add floors over these floors. Oh, okay. That's so what it's designed. It's it is. It is technically. Now watch this. Um, create floors. Voila, there's all your concrete slabs now. Now oh, if you go to VG, and you go to, and now if you go to massing, now if you, if you hold mass down, guess what? It opens up. If you hide mass floors, guess what? Your mass floors will disappear. Watch this. And now you'll just have your nice concrete slabs there. Okay, okay. See that? Mm. So now you've driven... That's correct, because now you can build your geometry around this. Um, so when you put on, switch on the mass thing, um, I'm quite confused because my building, this, this, because it's like two buildings popping mm. up, this one should be a bit shorter, but I don't know how to delete these levels without deleting the levels on the right as well. I know. So what you do is you delete. So what you do is you remove the wall by face, but you can actually edit boundary. What you do is you yeah. just go watch this, delete that. Where, where was the other I'll explain. Boundary? So you select this slab, yeah. edit boundary, and then you delete this one's side. Oh. Voila. Okay, let me just see. I think it's... Yeah, just another level. Needs to be yeah, so you, that's what you're doing. You select this guy and you see it has this edit boundary. You delete the stuff that's no longer relevant. Okay. Okay, now, let's hide all the massing again because I want to show you. Actually, I need a mass. If you want to punch a hole in the slab, select the slab just like this. Maybe it goes maybe it goes two floors deep. You've got two options. You can either use a shaft and watch this. Because I've got line work in here already, tab. So here it'll punch a shaft. And I can make you go through all of these floors. Watch. But it's not the same width. Oh, it gets gets smaller and smaller. Yeah. Okay, in that case, so what we do, this is even better now. But you see what it's doing? Yeah, yeah it so literally, that's what I'm going to do for the elevator. Yeah, so what you do now. So instead of that, you're going to grab the floor slab itself and you go and edit boundary. All that you do now is you assign the new boundary. Ta-da. Watch this. There's a hole. Go to this slab. Go to this slab, and you're going to go and say, uh, sorry, I clicked the wrong thing here. So select the slab, yeah. edit boundary. Guess what? There's a nice little mass inside there that I can use again. So I'm going to say, pick line. So I'm going to pick this guy, tab, 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 that one. I'm working on the wrong face, but it's fine, because there's another one inside there. I can see it there, that line there. Sorry, and that's that line there. I can see it. And that's this little line over here, side. I'll just trim this. Oops, one more. So this is going to take me a while to get used to. Yeah, no, but it, you'll get there. See, if I look, if I switch off the massing now, you'll see that this thing will start. Check yeah. how the slabs are sliding. Oh, I took it to the wrong side. So this guy, edit boundary, it must just go to that line there. So this must just go a line. To that face there tab. Okay, well, I need to do that to mine. So let me just say pick line tool. That's usually the quickest option. Might be slight your axis depending. That's fine. Delete. This is actually very quick because I explain why. Grab this guy over here. Use this tool over here. Now you can okay. work in little levels. So this will be way quicker now. Oh. So now grab this slab. So tab. Edit boundary. Guess what? I've got my new line in here. So you can see this is my new line over here. So tab that. So that. 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 And that. And then you can just trim this. Trim. Just because the one there starts, and then you can say finish. Now what's neat is with the section box, I can I can cut through these things from time to time and see. If I'm actually stepping correctly. Oh. Okay. okay. So you can see that's where the next one started. Ah, oh, wait a minute. This one was incorrect because technically it needs to extend. this goes to that line there. So you can use the line tool 
align, select this face, voila. Yes, that's it. Now I can extend this up so I can start seeing. Oh, cool. <laughs> but I see from this level now your little slabs they just keep the same now technically um two of them no just this one and then it gets stepped one more time so it's straight for two levels oh uh, okay one more time. Uh, so this one's straight so again so this guy this guy's gonna match that one here hmm. but once you've got a hole watch this tab once It'll find all of those openings. It should. Come on, let's click the side here. Let's click the side over here. Tap, tap. Should. Come on. Okay, let me just say, let me just say finish for now. The reason why is, I must just get back down to the right level now. Let's go to this guy again. Go back to this side. You see with the 3D view now? You can work in isolation now. This is cool. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. So you're not too. You can actually delete this bottom mass because you've got the outline of where your walls are going to go in any case. It's yeah. going to be concrete coming up. Yeah. So technically, you don't need the mass anymore. You can actually delete this bottom mass. It's done its job. Okay, so the mass was just there so that I can start adding in the slabs. Yeah, and you've, you had volume in which to work around. Yeah. But if you've defined that volume, the mass has actually become obsolete. And you're not... A mass is actually designed to drive shape organic shapes like this which you can't traditionally model model yeah so that's what a mass actually is for okay and as i don't have a really complicated if you don't have a complicated you can use all the native tools standard okay so this guy uh edit boundary so what's neat is because you've got a hole here already if you click this pick line tool tap 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 it should pick all of them there we go watch doof done okay. voila there's the next lab now there's one more hole over here yeah Hit a boundary. Now this one should be fairly quick now. So tab. Yeah, there we go. Voila. So now okay. let's just go up. So you said this basement was a separate mass, eh? Hey? Yeah, I made it two different masses. Good. Because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this mass and delete it now because it's done. Yeah. It's done its job. Because technically, now I've got my slabs. So if I cut through this in section. And if you want to start seeing this better, you can switch on shadows. So you can start seeing, you can start understanding the stuff better. Yeah. You can soften the shadows. There's this whole thing where you can go and soften the shadows and really get them looking neat. Okay. Mm. But if you look from the side, you can see how that steps down into the building. Mm. And what's neat is you can actually do a proper sun study and you can see how those, you can see how the light would travel in there. Is that what we needed to add the light? Yes, down? exactly right. So if I watch the sun path on, um, specify project for location and date. We have set that. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. So now, watch this. I can do a proper. I can grab the sun and go. <gasps> what? Yeah. So now you can see. Okay. You're going to get a lot of secondary light filtering down there, but typically this is your north. And you see that bubble? That's winter solstice and summer solstice. So you can set it winter, summer. That's why we use the software. You can do an animation and you can render how the sun will rise. And it's accurate, very accurate. Okay. Okay. So that's what we're doing. But now how do I... Um, so when I'm going to start massing, this, or not massing, um, adding the walls... The, the thing that I'm struggling with, because the top part above the ground level is still like one thing. So if I, because if you take a look at this section, this volume here, so this is mm. this section like this, mm. I think it's cut like that. Mm -hmm. This volume, the whole top part is um, a double facade and the bottom part is brick and glass. Okay. And, and then this then is all concrete like you've done here. This is all concrete and this is brick. Okay. Okay. So it's, con I don't know how I can, um, I think the brick one is quite easy because it's just the brick wall that mm. makes it, right? Mm. But how do I? What is this double facade made of? Um, it's a double facade um, of glass, but it's insulated translucent glass. Okay. So wait, the so this is, is there a mesh on the outside or is it just glass and then another layer of glass on the inside? So this one. Because you know how glass works with heat. 
You know why they double insert? You know why they do double glazing? When glass, here's a, a, a sheet of glass. When the sun, so I'm, I always forget which way it works, but the sun comes in a certain wavelength. Mm. As soon as it hits glass, it changes the wavelength. Mm. What happens is the heat can no longer escape because the wavelength's changed. Mm. And because the wavelength has changed, it can't escape from the glass. Mm. So that's why you get heat build up in a car. That's why when you get in a car, it's like massively hot in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just because the wavelength, the energy that comes in, the wavelength changes, and it gets trapped. Now it can't get out the glass anymore because the wavelength had changed so much so that it can't escape anymore. So then it absorbs into everything, and that's why you get that massive heat. So I have a double, so the facade is extended okay. glass, and then on the inside there's the another more glass. Layer of glass. Okay. And then at the, the top and bottom it's open so the heat can escape that's, and it yeah. circulates. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's modeled directly after Stephen Wall. Okay, okay. So now, in this view, all that you're going to do now, watch this, this is so quick. Walls, architectural walls. And I'll use concrete walls for this. I've given you guys one already, but you might scale that down. So let's make it a 300 concrete wall. Okay, Is edit. this out for the basement? Yeah. Because it's all underground. So go 300. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how quick this is. You're going to be shocked. You might have to offset your walls to match your... your C. We'll see. Watch this. Rectangle. On so, floor in oh, the on lower floor, basement. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to say height. I'm going to tell this thing to go right to ground floor. So it's going from 6th floor to ground floor. Oh, so this is now the edges. Yeah, okay. watch this. Watch this rectangle. Now, uh, before we start, there's one last trick. You're going to say core face exterior. What does that mean? It means that when I start, you see the core face is on the exterior there. Okay. Go from there to there. Now, if I go to 3D view, there's all my walls. They're built. How do we um, say switch off the sun part? Yeah, that you just switch off here. Yeah. So oh, okay. off. There we go. Okay. okay. Now, technically, if I cut through this in section. Yeah. Oh, and now it's there. Okay, switch off your shadows because that's going to confuse you as well. So there's my walls. Now, you can join these two together. Or what you can do is you make the floors. But technically, if you go join now. So if you click the wall and you go join. Join that with that. Dit. Guess what? It becomes one okay, object. Just like we that becomes that. Voila. Yeah. We See have to that? do it at the other side as well. Yeah. But I'll do that, yeah. typically what I do is I actually make the floor slab a little smaller. This one I don't. This bottom I leave just like this. Yeah. And oh. one last thing we need to do, edit type, this construction wall. You must just edit this and make this. That should be structure. Okay. Okay. There is a trick now that we have to do, but for now, leave it like that. Leave it for now. I'm going to have to explain this. You guys will see. When you start printing this out, we'll fix that soon. Okay, but for what we're doing now, this is perfect. And then how thick would you rather make the floor slabs that's in the middle? These are all going to be 255 slabs, more or less. These are all going to be about 255. Here you're going to have downstand beams. Every time you have an opening like this, and then this might, you're going to have a series of columns. You're going to have a column that will connect to there. There may be another beam with another column, then another beam to another column, then another beam to a column, then another beam. Have you, you know Loftus, the shopping center here? Have you been into the basement? Yeah. Have you seen how hectic those columns are? Very hectic. Yeah, that's the size of columns that you need. Okay. Okay. But remember, they're carrying multi-story buildings above, and there's a change of grid. Yeah. That's why they have those massive, massive okay. columns. Okay. Because there's buildings that are at different upstairs that have different grids to the basement. Okay. Fine. Well, this building has a different grid than the rest. So that yeah, it gets interesting. It gets it gets, it gets very fascinating. Oh. Okay. Okay, so you can stop these walls, but it's easy. You can go to edit boundary, and then you can. So it's actually very easy. Go to edit boundary. Go to ground floor, it doesn't matter what levels. Your uh, go to basement, so go to ground floor to see this. So you can see, ah, if you're not seeing the walls below, there's an option where you can say show, you can switch on stuff below. So if you go, um, it's over here somewhere. Oh no, sorry, I'm the floor set, that's why. So if you go, if you go to this view and you go to, um, but remember to switch it back on again. Okay, if you don't switch this off again, it's not going to look great. You see this um, range? 
you can say show level below. What it does is it gives you the outline. That's how we coordinate stuff between levels. Yeah. You can make it look through all these levels going down and up. Then when should I switch it off? Um, now, when you about to put these in a sheet, you switch this off again. So That's where exactly why you, is it? It's under underlay. underlay. So you can basement. you can you can see the basement level now. You can see right down to the basement level. So I should just say none when none. I yeah. put my yeah. Stuff but if you go to wireframe, so this is another way we do it. Wireframe. Now what we do is we change the view range. This is but you also might have to set this back. If you go to view, you want to look deep now. So we're going to say look, look down, look down to basement level one now. Press apply. Oh yeah, this must be the same level, basement one. Apply. Now we're looking very far deep. But okay. if I switch on hidden view again, it will disappear because technically it's the stuff is kind of hidden. Okay. Okay, but now I can so Santa, this was let me grab. Here's my my slab. Edit boundary. All I'm gonna do now, this is so simple. Watch this. Offset. Don't off copy 300. Watch how quick this is. Tab. Oh yeah, click this again or watch. Tab. Tab. Uh, inside. Watch this. Oh no. Offset. Tab. Offset. Done. There, it's offset it perfectly to the wall. Uh, do not attach. Now if we go to sections, I'll explain what I'm doing now. So let's just go to a section. You see now that this ends, but you can still join these. You can go join. Then you go to modify, join, join that with that. Voila. This one's not perfectly aligned, so let's just see what's going on there. Oh, no, 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 join. Sorry. Join that. There we go. Done. So you just go to all of these slabs and you just change their outlines quickly. I'll just join them. Okay, but just join them for now. If it's for this section for what you guys are doing this, you're gonna have time to rework this stuff, okay? Okay. Alright, so like here, join that with that. Now you see that there's slightly different line ways between walls and that. Yeah. What we do is in these views we go to VG and we say cut lines. So you're gonna say structure six, substrate five. Five. Just for this type of stuff, that's one air finishes four will be three. This will be two. So this would be throughout my whole design, not just yeah. This. Now, if I look at the line weights, you see they match identically, but don't worry about it for now. You can leave it as it was. Okay, that's confusing. People always get confused with this, so just leave it all for now. Okay, but you can see now this is working well. Now if you go to 3D view, let's just go to 3D view again. And let's just switch off the section box and bring back our topography. I'm going to help fix up your topography a bit now. You can see this has got a cleaner line now. You can see that this is, we just joined these guys as well. I can see what's going on here. Join this guy, join that and that. Voila. So now you've got a neat concrete box joining. So join the slab. So join the slab. Join that and that. So join. Join this and this. Now it's a neat little slab. These are underground, it doesn't matter. And is it okay if this design we're doing now isn't exactly like our No, 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 that's the whole idea. Okay, because Trust me, I have a automatic parking system that I'm not going to build in Revit. <laughs> no, don't, just don't worry about that. Yeah. Okay. You don't have, trust me, it's that's gonna be that's gonna be hectic to build. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, okay. but now check how this works. Check how nice that works. Okay. Now, if I cut through this now with my topography back on. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And then um the because I did take a look at the um oh, what was it called when you make a glass facade. Um, okay, that's that's very easy as well. So what we're gonna do? You wanna create? Do you wanna create an external glass facade? That's the thing. I okay. Want a normal one in the middle and yeah. the, uh, against. The, now the, the ones one in the extended. middle will work between the slabs. Yeah. The ones on the exterior will go past the slab. Yeah, it's almost like it's yeah. bolted against the slab yeah. edges. Okay, so wall architecture. 
Here we're gonna go to we're gonna create curtain walls. We're gonna create two yeah, types. Edit. Just say continue sharing for me, please. No, oh, that's that icon there. Yeah. Continue. Good. Cool. Now we're gonna duplicate this one. So the one's gonna be exterior. So this is gonna be and um, duplicate. I'm gonna call this wall, and we can give them different colors as well. Duplicate. I'm gonna say um, ex glass. Oh, sorry, it's all the top so. Okay, we're gonna keep the system the same. I might up the system a bit. I might beef it up a bit. So the exterior one, I'm gonna beef up a bit, because that I might use a 150. Because this is this is structural. It's gonna sit outside. It's gonna be steel. It's a different system to the one that you put between floors. Okay, Control C. And then you Control C. Go into any of these. Go Control A. Control V. See that? Control A, Control V. Control A, Control V. Now, do you want these to? What's your the the distance between your slabs? Wait. What is the height? Oh, I made it three. Three meters. Okay. So this system is. Okay. So this system, and we're going to make it work in panels that go in this direction. So a series of glass panels, yeah. and then, okay. But we can change this at any point. So here, let vertical layout, so horizontal layout, this is gonna be fixed. So fixed distance, this is at three meters between, okay. Now these layouts in this direction, we usually, we go maximum distance on this because maximum spacing, and we usually make that 1800 because the glass gets so heavy. And you can't buy long sheets of glass. It only comes in certain sizes, believe it or not. It gets very expensive. I'll leave it like that for now. Apply. Okay. So it's good. not the exterior. Yeah. So now I'm gonna go to let's say level one, because I think level one oh, let me just go and look at but it's first floor. Let me just see it's this level here what I want. First floor. And it's yeah. also it's just that one box, the other one is all brick. Then uh, what's your level right at the top? highest level it doesn't have a roof plan good so in this safe first of all watch how easy this is now uh, cancel we should actually save this so it's just this bit here that's in glass this bit here it's the it's yeah it's just this little thing here yes it's this bit here yeah it's just this block okay cool watch this again but only from the first floor up yeah what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to wall Watch this. Exterior glass. Now we're gonna say height. I'm gonna say um roof. And now I'm gonna say wall center line can it be? I'm gonna offset this bar. This make it it's very easy to fix. This make it 150 now. Okay. Now I'm gonna create a rectangle. So from from there. It is extended a bit, yeah. Yeah, it's because I of think the, it's a 500. It's half a meter. Okay, now these things are all just in the wrong direction. So, so grab this one, I'll explain why. Okay. That we're going to move, that must always be out. You'll see now. This guy should always be out. These must always be out, facing outwards. Okay. okay. This guy, out, because that's the exterior side of the wall. Oh. Um. And that's the exterior side of the wall. Good. Now, if we go to 3D view, oh, I see. I don't have it. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. typically, and then I'm gonna have a glass. And you can see it's, it stops 300 exactly 300, and starts 300 away. So you can play with this height. So if I grab one of these, now drag it down. So maybe this should start beneath that slab because it must maybe height the slab. It, it, yeah, it does. Okay, now we might have to factor in. So here. Oh, then we don't make it three three thousand. Yeah, because now we might have to factor that in. Okay. So, but that's fine because I'll show you how to cheat this. There's a way to cheat this a bit. Okay. Okay. So what you can do. Watch this. You pull this down. Watch this trick. You grab the system now. The system. If you click. If you click. Um, if you click in the wall, you see it's got this icon here. Yeah. I can now tell it where it needs to start from because at the moment it's starting here. See this area here? If I pull this area up, 
If I drag that arrow up, the whole system changes. And it, it will see it's changed this to start from a different location. So that you move up. So click on your system. It's very easy to fix. Go to this guy. Watch this. Click this again. So this guy, you must just set this corner to start at the right location. Where did it go now? Oh, yeah, I want this to start. So this start from um, end. You'll see now it will move. Oh, no, no, it's um, justification, beginning. See, this will move right down to the bottom here. Now we're going to say from justification, we're going to say offset 500. So here you just need to work quite accurately because we need to work out. We can adjust the system up. 600. You maybe want to get that in the center of the slab, but I'll, I'll show you now. So this, okay. So this guy, we're going to tell it so it must offset from the top of slab minus 500. So it's going to be minus 500 from the bottom. I'm going to fix this one now. Watch this. Tab, all of them selected. Make sure that they all got the same offset. Minus 500 because technically it's a square wall. There's a different system that we'll use internally. Now this justification, you just set the whole time. Okay, now I know that this must be, so this justification should be um, from there to there. Let's go to elevation view, maybe let's go to front view. Let's just go and measure this quickly and see how high that needs to go. Sometimes you can't measure in 3D views, so you actually have to go to ground floor. So let's just set up this elevation here. And then let's go to ground floor, I think it's a better view here. So let's go to this elevation, make sure that this guy's set up, move it here. Good. Make this guy. Good. So go to this elevation now. You've just got that file in, but that's fine. Should we delete? We can get rid of it if you don't need it anymore. So here, see this dimension from there? I just need to know how much this is. So that's 500. Okay, so I need to offset, so if I zoom out now, you tab until you select the system, then you click this icon. You see this dimension here. We must just fix that to be 500. Watch this. Maybe 5. Just the frame five to 5. So technically, we'll start on top of the slab. Okay. Now, if you go to 3D view, you're going to have a nice little... And you, and you can change this glazing. This one's glazing can be like a green, and then the internal glazing works differently. So these corners are bolted to the slab, so it can't be on top. Yeah, you want them to go from the edge of the slab. So let's just go to first floor quickly, and I'll explain how this works. So technically, you want this... So now there's going to be this the system that will bolt these things to the wall. So you might draft in, but for now, if you show it like that, that's fine, because technically, that's how it's going to work. Mm. These guys, oh, should not have grabbed that. You must switch this this off because that's that does that. See this icon here? Switch that off so it prevents me from dragging. Because um, trust me, that you're gonna lose stuff and you're gonna be like, what the hell's going on here? These guys, what you do is you unpin these. Watch this. Then you delete them. Then you go to million, million. Now there's a corner. There's a one fifty by one fifty corner million. 3D view. Now you've got a big proper corner million. I know, where did I do it? It was over here, I think. I think it's that corner, like way at the back, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I've done it on a corner which I can't this see. One. Yeah, there we go. See? Oh, no. You've got to grab all of them. So grab this corner. So you know, you've got to grab all of these guys. This, is, this does take a bit of time to get these things neat. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go and say, go to filter, corner millions, press OK, unpin, delete. Then all that you do is you go to million, corner. But there's a, there's a quick way to check that out. All the way to the top. Voila. Now you got a nice big, but I'll leave it as it was, just because it, it will do enough for now. Because that's, that's an integrity refining the stuff you hear what i'm saying but then how do we align the rest of the like yeah the grab so grab this guy click this icon so here's a horizontal good beginning 
which is correct. And here you're going to say offset 500. See that? Voila. Grab this one. Hit that icon. Beginning 500. So now it ties in perfectly with your. So you can make this one color and use the different color for the internal ones. Grab this guy. What do you mean different color? Is it just for my? You can have different glazing on the exterior. So you can have a tinted. So let me explain this. Okay, now I'm just going to put one layer in here quickly. So go to the first floor. So now we're going to put another glass wall. So we're going to go. It's a wall. Sorry, no, no. Oh, sorry. Wall. I'm gonna use I'm gonna keep it as curtain wall, but now this wall is gonna go from ground. What was the level above first? First to Oh, I can't remember. Sorry. It wasn't very difficult. I need to go to fix that. My brain. I'm not sure. So ground to so it's ground to level nine. First to nine. Okay. So first floor. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to say uh, wall level, so height level 9, which is the level above, correct. And we're going to say that must be offset minus 255, so it sits underneath the slab. Okay, now this we're going to, this is different because now we've got an edge of our slab. We must actually start hiding stuff here because now it's, here's the edge of our slab here. You see, here's our slab here. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle and this is going to be one center line, but I'm going to give this an offset of, I think it's, because it's a 90, so it's 45 mil. So here I'm going to go from here, spacebar will offset it to the internal. So from here to here. So what it's done now is put a series of a new curtain wall. So now if, let's go to the 3D view. Let me show you what's going on now. So in 3D view. So what it's done is it's had a new curtain wall inside that goes from the slab. I know it's, it's inside here. See, it goes from the top of the slab mm, the to the way. underside of the slab. Yeah. See, like that. Check. See that. Now it's just one continuous bit of glass. You can add a system in there. But I think put your offices in... Then you're going to add millions in automatically. Because what? You can add all the, select all of those. You can hide these. Hide element. You can hide them temporarily. With these guys, you can go and add in. So watch this. I can go and add a grid at the top here. Because typ typically, you're going to have a service zone. And we can put in a solid piece of panel in there. You can put a solid panel because you're hard. Because that's where all the services happen. Yeah. And they put in a solid panel so you can't see into the ceiling void. Yeah. This is transparent, you can't see into there. This bit of glass, you can make a solid panel. Oh, and because it's not, my, so my double glass facade is translucent. Hmm. But, so. This will be hidden because you don't want to see, you don't want to see into your services because yeah. you're going to have suspended ceilings. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hmm. But the, not the glass in the middle, the glass on the outside. How do I change that color to translucent? Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm going to show you now. So this guy, so here you can go and add in different grids. You can go to grid. So here you can say only one segment. So say if I go one segment, check what it does. You can build in these little patterns now. Yeah. See that? You can actually go and make these all funky patterns. And what's neat is, watch this, great. I can duplicate these now. I can do that copy and paste. <laughs> So I can go, so let's say level 9, 10. Okay, this is easy. Watch this. So say now I want to repeat this. So I'm going to say copy, paste, align to selected levels. This is insane. So from 9, so let's say 10 to 15. So I go 10, hold control down. Oh, 9 as well. Yeah, I should put 9. Is the roof slab just a floor slab? It's just a floor slab. And then it's got screw to fall and you're going to have things where the water gets collected. Yeah. Okay. Here, 
on this slab, I'll build an upstand beam so that you yeah. can accommodate all of that. Okay. But check that out. So whatever you do, just copy. So check it out. So you get one sorted, and you can tab. Watch this. Tab, delete. Yeah. Tab, delete. Oh, tab. Yeah, tab. Okay, now I'm going to just, this is the last thing I'm going to show you, because then I've got to, got to go home. Okay. So, oh. shame. <laughs> okay. Now, let's bring everything back. Reset. This is how you work with stuff. But can we also just save? Yeah, I'm just save. Yeah, because if you lose this, I'm going to, I'll cry as well. I'll just go I'll just post it and cry. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so now that's but it's taken shape. It hasn't taken me long. Okay. Okay, now that's because you're very good at it. <laughs> Trust me, you guys are gonna work eight to five every day doing this, you're gonna get very good. Now, the system glazing. You see the system glazing? Yeah. This guy lives if you go down to um uh, uh, curtain panels, yeah, curtain panel. Guess what? Duplicate, new type, we're going to call this um, Translucent. Oh, geez. So, is this going to be our final project for OKU? Okay, yes, eventually. eventually, yeah. Keep working on this, cutting it up. What you give to construction, you give to me for the time being. I'm going to help you guys build this up properly. Look, this is a hectic building. We're going to focus on elements. Okay. It's a tricky one. I'm only gonna um, develop the floors that we need to for. That, no, that's fine. That's fine. So this guy, usually it's 15 mil thick the glass. Yeah. Okay. So 15 mil. Now watch this. I'm gonna go to material. Oh, and then you're just gonna pick. Then I'll pick a nice. So let's go and find a glazing. Sorry, I have to wear my mask at the moment because I was very sick last week. I have got pneumonia. Oh wow. Yeah, that's lots of fun. Well, they said bronchitis. Apparently, it's going around. So fun, especially during exam when yep. everyone can afford to be sick. Yep. Go to glass. Now, in glass, there's a whole lot of these already. So, I would, I'll show you, go for this glass mat for yeah, now. I think it might be that. Go to glass mat. Because what it does is it adds glass mat to your, you can change this again. But now, get rid of the thermal. You don't need the physical and thermal characteristics because we're not doing any of these calculations. And that's cool. That's the actual thermal characteristics of that type of glass. Yeah. Parents, we're going to say replace acid. Now we're going to have a much bigger library of information to check from. So we've got a glass now. Now we've got glass till... What color do you want? Well, just white matte essentially so glass uh not clear you want uh so you want Maybe frosted frosted yeah sure. frosted medium so now you'll see it'll look nice white and frosted so it doesn't look like sand glass to yeah there check oh yeah that's perfect like that now graphics we're going to use so you're going to use say render parents and you'll see everything will apply watch this apply Okay, now we go to this system. You just click on one of them. Oops. I'll upload these videos tomorrow. Okay. At a time, you just change this to your translucent. Where will you upload it? Um, on YouTube. Oh. Now you see you've got an exterior, and you see it's even gone frosted a bit. And now you've got that glass internally. Oh. So, what's neat now? Watch how cool this is. Let's go to your. It's so contrasting. But I can actually see the work that the interiors are putting into their little building. It's equivalent to you guys building a, a multi story building. That's rough. <laughs> Have you seen what they've had to do? Have you seen their models? Let's actually go and see their models. They actually, do. it's interesting. So, watch this. Check all the elevations are done. Watch. Go to. Watch this. Voila, here you got your double skin, but remember you're gonna up this one will be taken up to the top, okay? Yeah, I'll do that. Don't know why that's such a thick line there. What's it a thick line? I wonder what that thick line is. It's probably built into the glazing. Okay. So you're gonna copy this up, but there. Yeah. It's giving you a start. Thank you so much, Jason. Hey, Penny, girl. Hey?